students! Welcome to our English class. Bem-vindos à nossa aula de inglês. So many new ideas. I'll work to make them worth. I can reach higher by trying hard. What will be my choice? My future I will write. I'm strong enough to fight for all my rights. To be a doctor, a janitor, a nurse, engineer, DJ, waiter, a policeman that serves. An actress, writer, driver, designer, you're free to choose your life that you deserve. Knowledge is the source in which I'll find my way. That's the start to make my dreams come true. I'll put my mind into getting in this world of work. To be myself a part of this world too. To be a doctor, a janitor, a nurse, engineer, DJ, waiter, a policeman that serves An actress, writer, driver, designer, you're free to choose your life that you deserve Lesson 12 Do you work? Ok, guys! Vamos a uma rápida revisão Vimos o auxiliar to do, remember Ele nos ajuda a transformar as frases em interrogativas ou negativas They live with their grandmother. Do they live with their grandmother? They don't live with their grandmother. Grandmother, grandfather. Father, dad, mother, mom. Daughter, Son, brother, sister, niece, nephew, uncle, aunt, cousins. Well, we're ready to start. Estamos prontos para começar. Vamos ver o que nos aguarda hoje. Is this your father? Yes, he is. He's so young. Does he work? Yes, he does. He is a bus driver. And your mother? Does she work too? Yes, she does. She's a teacher. Does she teach math? No, she doesn't. She teaches Brazilian history. Ah, now I see how you know all those things about Brazilian history. Quando o auxiliar do se refere a he, she ou it, ele vira does. Is this your father? Yes, he is. He's so young. Does he work? Yes, he does. He is a bus driver. Viram? Para saber se o pai da Mariana trabalha, ele pergunta Does he work? Se a frase fosse afirmativa, seria He work. Certo? Uh -uh. O certo seria He works. Não se esqueçam de que nós sempre precisamos colocar um S ou ES no final do verbo que acompanha he, she ou it. I work. He, she, it works. I learn. He, she, it learns. I eat. He, she, it eats. I do. He, she, it does. I teach. He, she, it teaches. Mas há sempre exceções. Então, qualquer dúvida ou se quiserem saber algum detalhe, perguntem ao seu professor ou professora. Ask your teacher. A profissão do pai da Mariana. He is a bus driver. E a profissão da mãe da Mariana? Lembram-se? She's a teacher. Does she teach math? No, she doesn't. She teaches Brazilian history. Professora de história brasileira. Right? Bem, já que estamos falando em profissões, vamos ver mais algumas. Let's see some more. Teacher. Doctor. Police officer. Musician. Bus driver, actor, actress, dentist, writer. 
lawyer, engineer, electrician, painter, waiter, waitress, tourist guide, travel agent, salesman, saleswoman, hairdresser, gardener, photographer, firefighter. Mariana, do you want to be a teacher too? I don't know. I want to be an actress, but it is too difficult. I want to be a dentist too, mm, but, but I love to write. Maybe I want to be a writer or a photographer. I love to take pictures. Oh, I don't know what I want to be. And you, do you know? I don't know. Let me see. Doctor, firefighter, lawyer, dentist, taxi driver, soccer player, telemarketing operator. Decisão difícil essa, hein? Mas é bom fazer como os meninos e pensar em todas as possibilidades para tomar a decisão certa. I know what I want to be. I want to be a social worker, to help people. Julia, that is a great idea. I don't know what I want to do. I have some doubts. Mais uma palavrinha nova. Doubt, que quer dizer dúvida. Na hora de escolher uma profissão, sempre surge uma dúvida, não é mesmo? I don't know. I have some doubts. I love music, but I can't play any instrument. Mm, nurse, engineer, waitress, saleswoman, actress. You can work in a TV station. Maybe we would see you in a soap opera. Oh, yes. <laughs> soap opera é novela. Fiquem espertos, tá? A escolha de uma profissão é algo muito sério, não é brincadeira. Mas o Pro Jovem está aí, entre outras coisas, para ajudar vocês a identificarem as melhores oportunidades para o mercado de trabalho. Tourism is the job of the future. Maybe you can be a clerk in a tourism agency to learn how it works. Thanks. This is a great idea. But first, you have to learn more English. Clerk. Significa assistente. So, let's go to the park. I can't. I have to go. I have many things to do. Okay. And I have to go home. Bye bye, Pedro. Bye bye, Julia. Girls, don't forget, tomorrow Lucas wants to show us his home. Oh. Tomorrow? I can't. I have to work. Can we go on the weekend? Well, it's up to you. Okay, so let's go on the weekend. Bye See bye, you Pedro. <laughs> bye. Outra expressão que apareceu foi It's up to you, que significa você decide ou vocês decidem, porque you pode ser você ou vocês, certo? Tomorrow, I can't. I have to work. Can we go on the weekend? Well, it's up to you. Hora da nossa revisão. Hoje vimos o auxiliar do virando does quando ele se refere a he, she ou it. Vejamos alguns exemplos. He works at a bakery. Does he work at a bakery? He does not work at a bakery. He doesn't work at a bakery. She has a job at a lawyer's office. Does she have a job at a lawyer's office? She does not have a job at a lawyer's office. She doesn't have a job at a lawyer's office. Perceberam que, se conjugamos o auxiliar do, não há necessidade de conjugarmos o verbo principal da frase? É como se o auxiliar já tivesse feito o trabalho por ele. E por último, aprendemos algumas profissões. Teacher, doctor, police officer, musician. Bus driver, actor, actress, dentist, writer, lawyer, 
engineer, electrician, painter, waiter, waitress, tourist guide, travel agent, salesman, saleswoman, hairdresser, gardener, photographer, firefighter. Bem, por hoje é só. That's all for today. Mas antes, uma dica. Procurem uma música bem legal. Peçam ao seu professor ou professora para ajudar vocês a descobrir o que esta música está dizendo. Aí vocês podem cantá-la com muita emoção. Hum, boa essa, hein? Teacher, good luck. They're all yours. Kisses, bye bye. So many new ideas. I'll work to make them worth. I can reach higher by trying hard. What will be my choice? My future, I will write. I'm strong enough to fight for all my rights. To be a doctor, a janitor, a nurse, engineer, DJ, waiter, a policeman that serves. An actress, writer, driver, designer, you're free to choose your life that you deserve. Knowledge is the source in which I'll find my way. That's the start to make my dreams come true